Isaiah Thomas <laughs> is one of the greatest point guards to ever play this game. Not because he's just one of my, my, my best friends, but because uh, he is. He shakes, bakes, hips to do, put in the hoop, shoot the jumper, play defense. And he's my baby. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> I learned it all from him. <laughs> Two guys out here on this court of best of friends, Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas. There it is, it's over, and the most valuable player is Magic Johnson. He starts at center, plays forward and guard, and leads the Los Angeles Lakers to a world championship. Bird and Magic have been the only two guys basically competing for championship. You know, it's a mental understanding that they have of the game. How good is this guy? Well, you know, once Isaiah gets into his rhythm, he's unstoppable, basically. Right side, way down to the floor. And here Isaiah's name mentioned with the real heavyweights, the Magics, the Jordans. It's like we all strive to be like perfect. If he wasn't there, not only as a friend, but as a competitor, I don't know if I would have gotten all out of myself that I think I've got. I'm going to take the shot. He's going to take the shot. And uh, I'm going to try to kill him. He's going to try to kill me, and I love it. Isaiah Thomas and Magic Johnson, they said, we're going to touch and we're going to kiss and we're going to congratulate. And when Magic tries to drive down the lane, I'm going to be right on his elbows. A very gracious moment here as Magic Johnson has come inside the Pistons locker room and your longtime friend, Isaiah Thomas. Made a chance. And he, he don't have to talk to me about it to find out what it's like now. Now he knows. I said, yeah, come on, in, man. Come on, come on. I said, I said, I my boy stuff. I said, yeah, come on, man. The friendship is forever. So I might as well get the quote out there. Magic Ooh. Johnson writes, Isaiah killed his own chances when it came to the Olympics. Nobody on that team wanted to play with him. Michael Jordan didn't want to play with him. And these are Magic's words. Scottie Pippen wanted no part of him. Bird wasn't pushing for him. Carl Malone didn't want him. Who was saying we need this guy? Nobody. When this HIV announcement came and the reaction of all these people around him, people that he thought were his friends, to back away and to shy away from him, and then to find out that Isaiah Thomas, the one guy he thought he was going to be able to count on through all of this, to find out that he was questioning Irvin's sexuality, how he got this disease, and questioning people about it, it was devastating to him. I had no role in, in starting any kind of rumor, and uh, um, I'm disappointed that he believes that. And what's your relationship with him today? Well, he said we don't have one, so I guess we don't. <laughs> I, I hope as, as two African-American men uh, that we do have the compassion and understanding to one day uh, come together as two brothers if if magic johnson needs me i still be there for him this side yeah, yeah you want me in the front or the back you know when when he and i really sit down and just start talking and kicking it it you know the we're never at a loss for words so the conversation will go where it needs to go and i think we um figure out how to make it work home of the lakers hello i am good how you doing good i'm good i'm isaiah nice to meet you alana. It's, a, it's a pleasure to meet you alana i will let natalie know you're here please do thank you <laughs> i want to see the court you know i'm gonna have to go see the jet in that gym now <laughs> Just, just, just to say I shot one. Uh, yeah, I'm always flattered. Okay.
<laughs> See, I knew you was gonna have a towel. I, I told Lynn, I said, when I leave, I, I, you know, I got, I got dressed, right? <laughs> No, I got dressed. I got dressed, right? Uh -huh. And I was like, how's this? She's like, no, nah, you can't wear that. I'm going to hold this one. I think Am I here? You there. Yeah. Not just what you I'm know as you a... got the socks on. I'm trying to, you know, do look something. We both got to do what we do. I was way ahead of my time. I say, now nah, they're wearing mismatched shoes. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> you know, I, had I, to, you. I had to mismatch you shoes. Know. I was like, you come on, this going to be the know. style. He was like, nah, 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 and nah. now nah. they doing all nah, that. Now they doing and all that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, come on, now. Nah. Yeah, it's funny. Like, you coming to interview me. I was like, you ain't coming to interview me. We going to interview each other. <laughs> we, that's how we do it around here. <laughs> they said, they said well, you got an hour. I said, it's going to take us a half hour <laughs> just to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when y'all ready. You know, most people don't know how much you really love baseball, right? Right. And I'm gonna go all the way back to Lansing. I know this is supposed to be a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back. I know this. Gonna, I know this is supposed to be a basketball. But I'm gonna go back to the softball team. <laughs> That you had in Lansing. That's right, traveling team. Traveling team. And and so Mark and I would be like, <laughs> this month, or he just doing it for like his friends, you know, is he just doing it for Don and everybody else? Yeah. And then you would come out with your uniform <laughs> on and everything. I'm like, I'm like, this dude really going to the baseball game. <laughs> so so just for everybody watching, mm -hmm. tell them how you really got started. In baseball. <laughs> exactly. I would go home every summer after finishing our season with the Lakers, and I would get on that team, play right. either first or third base. We know. <laughs> you would come home after the finals, yep. right? Yep. After the finals, yep. right? Yep. Win or lose. Yep. You know, the next two days later, you got on the baseball uniform talking about, come on, man, we got to get this win. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, that we traveled all over the state of Michigan. We traveled around the country. I even brought that team out here to play the Jackson. People don't know that. We played against Randy Jackson, Jermaine Jackson, Jackie Jackson, right. and their softball team. And we had a big park full of people. They couldn't believe it. And Michael, they thought, where's Michael at? Well, Michael didn't play. He didn't want to come out. But we went to their house afterwards. Him, him and I went on tour <laughs> with the Jacksons. We also did dates with Prince. Yep, yep. I tried to surprise you today. I tried to call Jackie to see if he would come over. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be a yeah. real surprise. <laughs> because, because, you know, when we toured with the Jacksons and we were just, I mean, we went from city to city. And, to I city. mean, we knew every song. Yes. We knew how they came on, yes. and when they went off, and they were, hee, hee, hee. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> well, nobody like Michael Jackson. No. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> but, you know, watching them perform, right? Mm hmm And I don't know if it, I don't know what it did for you, but mm -hmm. I would just tell you what it did for me. Mm -hmm. Just seeing how they had the audience and seeing how they connected with the audience, mm -hmm. it, it made me realize, like, there's a, there's a bigger place to go right. than just playing basketball and, right. and making people say, ooh and ah. Like, mm -hmm. like you used to say, we say, man, Michael Jackson, he could just tell people, okay, now I want you to, like, you know, hold up the light and get down on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and they would do it. They would do it. And they would do it. 20, 30, 50,000. We in stadiums, sometimes 60, 70,000. Yeah. It's and amazing. So that, that connection, like, mm -hmm. and, and you had that with the fans out mm -hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Like, you no know, look, you know, you can you can point. I mean, and you just had the Laker fans, California, like in the palm of your hand. Predict starting for you right away. Go get him, Magic. Thank you. And here he comes from behind the back of fake. Oh, the pass. Here we go. Yeah, that's the first. That's he's. How did that feel at such a young age? And by the way, how did you handle it? Well, I think, you know, you only can do that if you excel, right, at your craft and at your game. My whole thing, just like yours, was to win. Yeah. I just wanted to win. I, 
and and, and everything. And everything. <laughs> Don't tell anybody and, all my and, secrets. And everything. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, Mark and I, I mean, me, Herb and Dominique, we be like, really? <laughs> really? Herb, you gonna call that file? <laughs> you know, yes. It's four to four, right? Uh -huh. You would get all the way to the basket, see if it go in. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I want to win. Yeah. But but see, now you just said it right. Herb Williams, Mark Aguirre, Dominique. Dominique Wilkins, yourself. Now, I'm older than all four. So my job as the bigger brother was to teach you guys and you were how to win. You were a great teacher. You know? So so that's a part that was a part of it. Yeah. Right? And so, just like Reggie Miller, same thing at UCLA. I used to call all those files. He used to get mad. He stomped mad. I said, well, you got to do something about it then. Don't let it get to 4-4. Right. And, and us having the ball. Then you don't have to worry about that. Right. So, so then he's like, oh, I get it now. Right? I was a gym rat. I loved to win. I loved to play. Michael Jackson loved to perform for the people. Yeah. He was a perfectionist. It made you and I become a perfectionist watching Michael Jackson yeah. at his craft. It made us also work harder to become great yeah. because Michael Jackson was great, yeah. right? And, and we would be watching him rehearse. No, no, that, that's not good enough. Exactly. We'd be like, I know it. What was wrong with you, that? You and I, you and I <laughs> yeah. be, we'd be up dancing yeah. and, then, and then he'd stop. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're off a little bit. <laughs> like, and we'd be like, man, they sound great. Mm. And remember, he used to sing how he wanted them to play. Yes, yes. That's what blew me away. Every instrument, yes. he can vocalize it. He can vocalize. I want you to think, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. and you and I were sitting up there. Did he just sound like a guitar? Remember, he had that big long mirror, so he'd be practicing his moves right, right. and everything, and we'd be up there practicing them. <laughs> The moon walk like we gonna moon walk like Michael, you know. But I, it gave us something to hang on to, to go after. This man is such a detailed perfectionist all the way down to the little things. So it made me go back as a basketball player to go all the details, practice the right way. And we pushed each other to be great, right? And so my whole thing was if we went and we played and we won and we played the game the right way, then we would have the, the fans cheering and going crazy. in Boston and we come back to LA and I'm gonna sing this song and I'm gonna tell me if you remember the year. <laughs> uh, just once can we figure out what we keep doing wrong, right? Uh -huh. Y'all lost that year. Mm -hmm. And I never forget we y'all was having y'all end of year meetings and y'all had a luncheon or a something somewhere and I'm there and it was a bad loss y'all had mm -hmm. to the Celtics mm -hmm. and you know you cried the whole night you know and, you know we sitting in the hotel room just watching you like just I mean cry hard yep. like and we didn't say nothing like mm -hmm. wasn't no words right mm -hmm. and I'm sitting there and I'm watching all this watching you go through that pain that mm -hmm. hurt mm -hmm. and for whatever reason that song came back and, and y'all was all like, you know, singing it, you know, and that summer we working out and everything, came back the following year and won it. Right. So my, my point is, and the question that I want to ask is, through all the ups and downs, mm -hmm. how did you keep getting up and coming back? Pain of losing. Nah. And that year, that was 84, you know, I had excelled every every time state high school championship college championship 
first year, 80, 82, I never failed, you know, and it was my fault that we lost I that championship. That. Yeah. that was my fault. I turned the ball over, made some bad decisions. And, um, man, I cried, cried, not only that night and the next night, but I also all summer. Really. All the summer. Yeah. Well, I mean, I and... Stayed in the house a lot, too. Yeah. We was worried. Mm -hmm. Because you, you got to remember, like, okay, me, Mark, we... We had never seen you fail. Yeah, that's right. So it was like, man, magic lost. That mm -hmm. was like, how could that happen? Yeah. Right? Yeah. But to watch you just dig, mm -hmm. you know, internally. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you was quiet, you know, you was just just going. Mm -hmm. and, and and then you came back the next year. And it was hoping that yeah. we get them again. L.A. comes to Boston and wins the world title. Magic Johnson, who finds redemption, Tommy, as you say, a year later. One long year and redemption for one Magic Johnson. Now you can tell us just how much it bothered you a year ago when they said you choked in the championship series. Well, it bothered me. You know, anytime you make mistakes to probably lose the uh, championship, then you, it bothers you. You know, no question about it. See, self-evaluation is the hardest thing to critique yourself. Mm-hmm to check off your weaknesses, that's hard for yeah. any person to do. So I had to go deep inside myself and say, hey, I'm not as good as I thought I was. I got to go back to the lab. I got to go to work. And so we went to work. We went to work that whole summer. Yeah, you went to work <laughs> on us. <laughs> <laughs> and not just you two either, three. Man, I, was going, I, was, I, I, I was trying to go to work on everybody. And all that pain, I put it on everybody yeah, else. like, yo, man, hey, this ain't the final. <laughs> I mean, you remember that summer? You and Mark almost oh, got uh, into exactly, it. Like, exactly, exactly. Wait, so, so we playing, right? <laughs> And I tell you, remember this? So we up at we up at uh, was it Genesis? Uh huh. And and y'all going back and forth, y'all yep. going back and yep. forth, and you call foul. Yep. And Mark like, nah, that ain't no foul. Mm -hmm. And you like, nah, that's a foul. And then y'all go back for yep. about like you know maybe about thirty mm -hmm. seconds. And then I hear Mark say the magic word, mother. Uh huh. I was like, hey, hey, yeah, hey, no, no. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, but but you was getting ready to fight. Mm hmm. Like. And, and, I'm, and, and I'm looking at you like, this dude think he like in the garden. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, man, we just, it's just fun. But that's every game, every, every practice. But that's the pain. That's the pain of losing and also have to really come back and be better. And the pain caused me to get into an argument with one of my closest friends, right? Because it wasn't that game. It wasn't that moment. It yeah. was about the Celtics. And it's about me not performing to my ability in that seven-game series. But the good thing about us, we understood that. So once the games were over, well, we're going to get something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get this tuna milk. Hey, let's, let's go get this sandwich. <laughs> and we're going to sit up all night. We're yeah. going to sing songs. Yeah. And then, you know, we're going to get up in the morning, go back to that gym. I had you guys to help me through that pain. Right. Right? And that's what you need. You need your friends. You need your support system to bring you through something so difficult and so hard. Not just losing, not just I didn't perform well, but also I lost to Larry Bird. Yeah. So 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 it was double, you know. So I'm looking at this dude, you know, champagne, yeah. talking trash, you know, and then I'm um, tragic magic <laughs> headlines and all the newspaper. And so I had to say, okay, I got to go to work. And then God placed me in a position to go back in 85 and us play them again and beat them. So you and I, see, our, our careers parallel each yeah. other's because, you know, we thought we were going to play you guys, right? And then we end up playing them. And, and you was tragic magic, and then I became tragic Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Because you dribbled out the clock, made the mistake, and then I threw the ball away. And now there's a steal by Murr. Underneath the DJ, And the only way I was able to come back mm -hmm. through all of that is because I had watched you go through it. Yep. And I had watched you persevere. Mm -hmm. 
and learning how how you describe that pain and how you just kept going and kept going. So then I said to myself, I got to get up. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I would ever had the strength to get up had I not been able to recall the memory of you getting up. You, you know what I'm saying? That's why we were in each other's lives. It, it was a reason. Right. Right. I knew your struggle. That's why I didn't say nothing. Right? I was mad. I know. I know you were. I was, but I was so hurt. Yeah. Yeah, you well, know? you Isaiah. I just like you. I had never made that mistake. That's what I'm saying. Your but, level of excellence is so high. And then we hold ourselves accountable. So we, yeah. we don't need a coach to hold us accountable. Yeah. We're going to hold ourselves yeah. accountable. Like, and that's who we were. But what people didn't realize about us is that we put so much love and time in this game. Yeah. I'm just set this one right here in front of us, and we gon' we gon' talk about we gon' talk about this joy and pain. <laughs> and that's what it was, joy and pain. Like sunshine and rain. <laughs>
maybe 52 games in 91. Then came back for the playoffs, won the same, but we get to the Eastern Conference Finals. And, you know, back in our day, you know, the wounded, you kill the wounded. Yeah. And Jordan and Pippen them, every time they saw my wrist, they was, <laughs> yeah, it was and that, that, that's what happened. And then it was their turn. It was their turn, <clears throat> and it was but, that good. But you taught them how to win. Well, the, the Pistons taught him how to win. No, it, 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 I'm, t I'm saying it. You don't have to say it. I'm saying it because that's the truth. You know, you learn from other teams how to win. And I still say this to this day. If my wrist wasn't messed up, I'd have got him. Just like you said, if your hamstring wasn't messed up, you would have got us, yeah, yeah, right? And yeah. probably would have. And that's I mean, what that, everybody that, should think that, as winners. That's, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. You were great teachers for us. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to dominate. But injuries happen. Yeah. You yeah. know, and that's part of it. I tell you, it's incredible that we were with each other when we both lost, when we both made mistakes, when we both, I said, we got to go to another level, right? And then we end up playing against each other. 1988. Mm -hmm. Isaiah Bill, what kind of game can you anticipate here? Well, one thing for sure, they won't be talking to each other once that ball goes up in the air. Kyrie, they think all the dudes dribbling now? <laughs> that was you already then. Yeah. That was you. When we on tour, some dude thought he could guard you. You said, what? Yeah. Come here. Yeah, back then, if you did all that in, in the NBA, they beat you yeah, up. Exactly. 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 Be like, exactly. Hey, don't do that. Exactly. Thing. Crossover, the things that you could do, you would, you had Tim Hardaway's crossover. Kyrie, what he doing? Steph, what he doing? I, I was telling people, I said, man, stop. Stop. I saw a dude do all of that. And then did it against my Lakers on one leg. Who scores 25 points on one leg in the fourth quarter? Someone who was inspired by you. <laughs> in the championship. <laughs> no, in really. the championship. No, really. It's like we never really got a chance to, to have this, this conversation. Mm -hmm. The one thing I admired, we was tough, and, you know, we, we was having our way with y'all, mm -hmm. right? So we go back to the Silverdome. And, and Riley, I think, issued the challenge to you personally, mm -hmm. you know, Magic, you got to do something about Isaiah, y'all friends, y'all kissing, da-da-da-da, right? And, and I never forget, I was coming down the lane, mm -hmm. and you ain't even go for the ball. Mm -hmm. You just like, boom, knock me out of the air. Thomas, hit by Magic Johnson. And look who he pushes, his best buddy. And I turned around and I pushed you. And got up swinging. You just didn't push, you got up swinging. Well, I should have. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're swinging up. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, it's like, I hated it, mm -hmm. but I admired it because it was like, if you didn't do that, right. your team was dead. Mm -hmm. And we knew it. Mm -hmm. And you knew it. Mm -hmm. Your team was dead. They weren't, they weren't going to respond. But you responded. Mm -hmm with the physicality right. on me, right. and that inspired your team. Mm -hmm. And it, it, took me, it took me a long time to understand, like, you had to make a choice between your Lakers and our friendship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at that time, right, I'm still, try I'm still trying to get one of these, right? right? right. You, you know how to get them. Mm -hmm. And, and even though I had been with all of you, you was like, it's the Lakers first. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't understand that. And that, and emotionally, that, that like really hurt me. Right, 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 right. But it also taught me like, hey, you, you got to get it. it it's, a, it's about being a champion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you ain't willing to go, go after it, you ain't going to win it. Right. Well, we have to remember, you guys were young, athletic, uh, and hungry. physical, <laughs> tough, hungry. Yeah. And um, that was our only move. And, and we had to win game three. See, we had to win game three. See, we didn't know that. Yeah. 
Right? See, yeah. when you're in the series now, <laughs> see, like, you you knew the formula. <laughs> see, like, see that, that's what I'm saying. When you come in here, like, Mikhail was like, go there and don't be happy just to be there. So we win game one. We like, oh, man, we we, we happy. You, you come back game three, and it's like, I mean... You know, the kiss was a kiss, but it wasn't really a kiss. Uh, it was like, it was like, you know, you we, know, we, you know what I got to do, you got, right? You got to do it. But I ain't understand. I'm yeah. like, hey, man, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and and boy, what? y'all came out, and every time y'all scored, it wasn't no high fiving, it wasn't no nothing. It was just like, pop, 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 pop. And for us, the following year, it's like, okay, we learned. Yeah. But Y'all put it on us. Well, we had to. We had to win that game to make sure the series went back because you guys could do things we hadn't seen championship teams do. Celtics, we knew, okay? We knew where they were going to be, who was going to be down low. They got the two-headed monster, Larry Bird out front, Kevin Paris down low. You know, we couldn't do nothing with Kevin McHale, you know. Right, he, he right. Was just, so we knew. But you guys... Man, that, that bench was just Benny. Because we had enough to deal with with you guys, right? And we said, man, your bench, firepower, athletic, running, dunking, blocking shots, Robin and Sally. We were like, and Benny heat up. He said, now, we got the score the same as the starters, but then we got a brace because that bench right. that y'all had. Sometimes... God put us in positions and situations, and we have to figure it out ourselves, right? That was tough. That was a strain on our relationship. But it was great because we both won, and I was happy for you when you did win. Yeah. Well, I was just telling him that uh, they earned it and deserve it. Uh, they played well, outstanding. Uh, we just couldn't contain them. Isaiah said from the beginning, he told me that they had started off to win the best record, and they did that, and it helped them to have the home court advantage, and they did chance. And, and then to go back to back, what you guys did to Portland, we was like, wow, wow. That was crazy. And this is what I, I didn't understand and now I understand now. Our relationship, mm -hmm. it's important to our community. Mm -hmm. I'm working now, like I get to see Chris Weber and Steve Smith and I get to see them every day. I talk to Jalen Rose mm -hmm. and, and I'm saying to myself, like, it's bigger than us. Yeah. For Chris Weber and Jalen Rose. For well, LeBron James and mm -hmm. Kevin Durant, mm -hmm. this is a big moment mm -hmm. that you and I are sharing right Great now. Great point. And I, I can remember us like, you know, sitting in the hallways and, mm -hmm. and, and everybody saying, you know, they're going to try to pull y'all apart. You know, they're going to try to separate. Mm -hmm. we like, nah, we ain't going to never get separated. Right. Even Jackie right. was saying that. Exactly. Remember the Jackie yeah, was saying exactly. that? Exactly. They're going to try to separate y'all, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I keep hearing those conversations and I keep mm -hmm. replaying it back. And then now I look at what's happening in the world with what was happening then and what's still happening now in terms of social injustice, right. you know, in our community. We got MLK Day right. coming up. Like, right. you know, you and I as, as black men, mm -hmm. as brothers, mm -hmm. as friends, like this relationship is important to our community and to our families historically, because I'm mm -hmm. sure your brother... My brother, <laughs> my sister, your okay. niece. <laughs> on and on and on. Everybody, you, keep, you, you keep going. Yeah, I mean, everybody's like, you know, y'all all right? Well, exactly. Like, yeah, we all right, you know? <laughs> I mean, but it's, it's important to everybody. No, it, it really is. And also, too, you have to remember, you and I were the leaders back then. Yeah, but it, I didn't it, know that. Yeah, it, well, we both didn't know it, but... Now we know it. Just yeah. like Pat Riley used to tell me, he said, Irvin, you're not going to even know the impact and the effect that you had or enjoy the winning until after it's over. Yeah. And he was right. You know, we were in the moment. Our lives have paralleled each other. We were leaders, even in the league. We helped change the All-Star Weekend. Yeah. We yep. helped yep. change a lot of different things within the league. And now we help, we're helping young men understand also to social
causes back then, you and I were the leaders of that, whatever yeah. issues they were. And so what th guys are doing now, we were already doing. Yet on a, it was a smaller scale. We didn't have social media. We didn't have all the right. things to blow it up. But I would say to you, this has been a tremendous day, right? My wife, my mother, my father have been saying, y'all need to get back together. Yeah. So when everybody called, I said, no question, we're going to do this. And just to sit across from you and have those relive those moments of fun, excellence, working hard, dreaming big, because we were dreaming of moments before we were even... Who, who, who stood up at 19, 20, 21, dreaming of stuff we wanted to do, and now here we are doing it, you know? But you are my brother. Let me apologize to you. If I hurt you, that we haven't been together, and God is good to bring us back together. Am I right? I know, man. It hurt me, too. <laughs> Come here, man. to go through, but we through it, brother. Okay? I'll always be here. Oh, come on, man. I always know. I know. I know. But I'm still mad that you beat me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gonna be mad. We both gonna be mad. <laughs> <laughs>